Hey, 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 welcome to the live stream of consciousness. It is me, Michael Zinn. I'm here by my lonesome at the moment. Uh, Jesse is uh, with his wonderful kids. They're actually at a movie. It's his last night here on Long Island for the holidays with him. So he asked me if he could take the night off again, but he may show up and say hello and wish everybody a happy new year. Um, and I, I didn't want to just run old shows again. Um, I figured it was the last chance of the year to talk to you guys and get everybody to interact. So, uh, here I am by myself. Uh, I invited a whole bunch of past guests, but it was a last minute idea. So I got a few bites. Uh, so some of our favorite people are going to be coming by and saying hello. Uh, I want to just say hello and welcome to Taylor. Good to see you back here and, uh, Courtney and Angela and, uh, all of the regulars, it's good to see you. Um, I think you are sending me a photo, Taylor. I don't know where you are sending it to me. Send it to me on Facebook if you have my Facebook. Taylor just got her hair changed to purple, so I was going to put a nice photo up for everyone to see. But uh, I hope everyone had a good Christmas um, and a good holiday season because now the holiday season is over. The New Year's ends that season, and we come into the new year and we create something new. Um, she posted the pic if I could see it. I don't know where you're posting it, Taylor. Um, confused, but I guess it's because I don't have my second half of my brain here today. Uh, anyway, Sunshine is here. Hey, Sunshine. I love purple, Taylor. Oh, look at that. Sunshine also has purple hair. What do you know? <laughs> you posted it in the chat. Oh, maybe there's, uh... Oh, you did it on Facebook. Hold on a second. All right, guys, bear with me. It's it's me by myself today. I don't have uh, anybody to support uh, your attention while I do stuff. But uh, I think that um, I have gotten the picture in the li live stream of consciousness chat, uh, which I'm going to try to check out right now. So, uh, and I also... I want to bring on some guests in just a minute because I promised I wouldn't keep them in the back stage area. Uh, oh, here's the chat. Okay, so let's see. I don't see. I don't see it, Taylor. But Taylor, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this up because there's your purple hair right there in your little profile picture. So we get to see it. So anyway, I want to move on with... Uh, Ending the old year and bringing in the new. How was everybody's week? I'll tell you what I did this week. I was sick. I got sick on Sunday night. Uh, Monday and Tuesday I was in bed. It was just good old plain, plain old sick. It wasn't the COVID. Um, and now I'm feeling much better. I am drinking some water with some lemon in it to, to keep my, you know, strength up. And we have Time Traveler here. Hmm. That's somebody new in, my, in the audience. But this is a very true statement. If you're living in the past, you're probably dealing with depression. If you're living in the future, you're probably dealing with anxiety. If you're in the present moment, you're here now with me. Welcome. Awesome. Very cool. Time traveler, welcome. Um, I Again, I'm just going to review my week real quick. I have Steve Interante waiting patiently in the back here. Um, I didn't do much because I was sick, but I did get to delve into the entertainment world, which I don't really get to too much, like watching movies and stuff, because I'm always doing stuff. So I did see the new Matrix movie. I didn't like it at first, but I did like it after a bit. Um, and then I started watching some stuff on HBO Max, since I had to get the subscription to to watch it. And it's one thing is called Season 11. It's a very interesting post-apocalyptic scenario that keeps going back and forth to before the post-apocalypse and after the post-apocalypse. And uh, the cool thing about it is I could only binge a couple of episodes because it's released every week. So here's something that you can't just watch the whole series. You have to actually wait until the next week. And, it's, and it says it's actually written for television, so it's actually pretty cool. So that one's called uh, Station Eleven. That's pretty cool. And and then the other one I saw was Maniac, which was about some pharmaceutical testing. And it was also, it touched on multi-dimensional 
universes and multiple lives. These people were living multiple lives in their heads and two of the patients were meeting each other every single time. It was a very interesting story. So I was watching entertainment, but I was keeping it in all of the things that I'm interested in. Um, and then I'm going to talk about this, uh, this guy, uh, Matthias De Stefano and his nine dimensional, uh, travels, uh, a little bit later, I'm going to recommend that and maybe even play a little bit of it, but I would like to, Oh, we got Taylor talking about cowboy bebop. I saw that rewatching thing. She liked it. Okay. I heard a little bit about that. Uh, we've got time traveler chiming in again with, with more wonderful, infinite wisdom. Um, I like that time traveler. I love, I love your presence here. Thank you. Um, with that, I'm going to bring on a presence that I haven't had in a while. And I'm so happy we were talking just a couple of minutes ago. I want everybody to welcome uh, our good friend, Steve Interante. Stevie. Hey, hey How my, you doing, oh, my friend. Fantastic. Thank you, Voor, for having me here. So good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah. I know uh, last we spoke, you were just kind of getting over some serious uh, issues, and you look amazing. Well, thank um, you. I, 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 I've been watching you uh, on, on Facebook with your adventures, and your sound healing seems to be going phenomenally. I've actually had some people tell me that they've been there. Sunshine uh, was a big fan. She said uh, she loved it. As a matter of fact, there she is. Hey, Steve. I love hey, you. I love you too, Sunshine. Is she going to be able to come on and chat with us? I hope so. I did send her the link. I'm going to send it to her again right mm -hmm. now in case. She's uh, fantastic. Case she She's amazing. Her and I have just been making stuff happen and, and just having these wonderful conversations. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, yeah, she's awesome. So, but why don't you tell me about what this is, this show is about wrapping up the year, kind of putting behind us probably actually a couple of years at this point. <laughs> um, let's just say it's wrapping up what's been done and, and where we've been mm -hmm. and, and being in the now and, and feeling good about, about the future. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you got to say about that? How's, how's well, things been in that front? Uh, just fantastic, actually. And uh like to say uh, hi to time travel. I don't know who you are, but you're right on on the money with the uh, being in the now and how uh, we co-create our reality with our thoughts in the now moment. And um, I resonate with that tremendously. I do my best to facilitate mindfulness meditations. I've been fortunate enough over the last uh, few weeks here, I was hired by the Stachem School District uh, to bring mindfulness to sixth graders. Oh, wow, that's awesome! Was, what a what an incredible experience! Um, yeah, spent tell us about it. Three days uh, in one pilot junior high school. Uh, we're hoping that it rolls out to uh, all the others and maybe even different age groups. But there were three hundred kids who broke wow. up into six classes of fifty. So they basically came to us during their uh, gym class, and um, we had some. Um, I prepared some video and, and a discussion on how to find their center and how to use their breath and their safe space and to uh, recognize that they can shift their state of awareness and consciousness quickly uh, by entering into this calm space to uh, balance themselves. And um, these kids really resonated with it. Awesome. They, they just took to it and they're holding their hand on their heart and uh. everything and so it was uh, so exciting and so that's well great to hear. Yeah, really was. That must have been that must have been amazing for you. I mean, I know your journey over the last couple of years, like just doing doing the guided meditations, really mm -hmm. getting me into guided meditations, being my mm -hmm. first actual meditation guide. <laughs> um, you know, that must have been such a great experience, just like ushering these kids into this uh, into this consciousness level. And um, I mean, I don't know if you remember. Steve, but for me, I have a story that actually took place at one of your meditations, and mm -hmm. it and it took place when a mother came in with her young daughter, mm -hmm. and after the meditation, the daughter came over to me and gave me a hug, and I immediately started crying. I don't know if you remember this, because while we were meditating, and I'm going to cry if I say this, <laughs> while we were meditating, she came to me and told me everything was going to be all right. And then after the meditation without, and that was one of the few times I really experienced something that was so 
cross dimensional, you know, um, and, and that was just that was phenomenal. I don't know. You probably remember the woman and and her daughter. Yeah, it was a few years ago. And uh, yeah. thank you for sharing that again. Um, that's just one of many um, examples of how connected the, some of the younger kids are to that state of uh, love, unconditional yeah. love and, and consciousness. However, as we all know, uh, life is very tough out there. And these poor kids, um, most of them weren't even able to go to school last year. They were homeschooled. So that whole mm -hmm. social thing uh, was uh, impacted. And it's almost like they lost a full year of education and social and mental and confident development. And So maybe that, that's opening them up to be even more eager to have that. Yeah, we're hoping so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So uh, it was a wonderful experience. I really, really enjoyed it. Sounds and, um, you know, mentioning that we here we are at the end of uh, this calendar linear year of 2021 and how trying it's been and how uh, challenging it's been for all of us. Um, there are still many positive things that have occurred and energetically for those uh, people who choose to tune into the uh, energy frequencies and make adjustments accordingly and start working on themselves by releasing yeah. things that no longer serve them like fear and doubt right. and, uh, and, and uh, uh, limit limitations and so on and so forth. Right. So with these, this is our opportunity and, and we're being uh, supported with mm -hmm. the energy. So Absolutely. the 1212, uh, the 1221 12, uh, gates, uh, they're all very impactful and, Amazing. So cool. So, so, so I don't know who this time traveler is. It's so amazing. I love that, that that's even how they've identified themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've been also, you know, you and I, we're both fans of, of, uh, Russell Brand, mm -hmm. uh, time traveler is Create reaffirming, reaffirming this also saying a child of one or two lives a conscious state of mind because mm -hmm. they haven't developed enough knowledge to start thinking about past and, and and future outcomes that makes so much sense as to why that child is in that pure state that's right and that and that as they learn those things mm -hmm. they become further and further away from that state yeah time traveler you are you you should come on as a guest uh <laughs> I, I love it so oh, i'd love to speak to that person um yeah reach out to so, me on facebook um, i'm gonna try something a little interesting here steve because i love you so much and and i know that i i, I don't want to get rid of you yet um mm -hmm. i have i have two more people waiting in the back room Please. Uh, I want to bring them on, but I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay and, and join the conversation. Um, Brian, I'm going to leave you in the back room just a little bit longer. I know Sunshine knows Steve, so I'm going to bring her into the conversation. And everybody, welcome Sunshine to the conversation. And hello, Courtney. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Sunshine? How are you doing? What's happening? Good to see your face. Good to have the sunshine in the room. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys yeah so so we're doing a, a year wrap up uh i've i've tried to invite some of my favorite people i'm i'm feeling excited because i'm having my own little new year's party here <laughs> uh, despite despite everything that's going on uh but uh why don't you tell us about your year in, in you know just a brief little summary of your year i know you had a, a pretty good year um not a lot of people did this year, but I know you did. <laughs> yeah, my year uh, was very good with my painting, healing, and spreading sunshine all over. <laughs> and my book, too, yeah. All right, Sunshine Warrior. That's right. How was that doing? Good. Awesome. Sold over 500 copies. Wow. Yeah. That is awesome. Did you did you have like a little booster during the holiday season when people uh Yeah, definitely. Gift? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Well, I I actually probably would have bought that as a gift, but I had actually commissioned something even better from you and yes. I had to do some paintings for some of my family and that was mm -hmm. let me just tell you, oh, I should actually bring that up if I have it. I, I didn't prepare that. I should have. Um Sunshine <laughs> I, I talked to Sunshine and I was like, I just want to commission some artwork from you. Mostly I've seen her, Sunshine, you do the soul portraits. So I know you can translate someone's energy and, and that's kind of what I wanted. But before we even got to speak about it, you had come up with this idea where you took these four canvases and you put them together and painted one big sunflower on the four canvases. 
and and I saw that and immediately I was like, this is perfect. I can split this between my mother, my brother, my sister, myself, and that will keep us connected forever. Yeah. And it was just the most perfect thing. And and I don't know if that was in you or you know, it just happened out that way. It, but it, well, intuitive. Intuitive, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. You said you wanted uh, you know small paintings that represented sunshine and i was like bloop <laughs> yeah it, it, very very good and then i also i also had sunshine uh paint uh paintings for my two nephews which were soul portraits and they loved them by the way did um, they they totally yeah. got them and yes of course the first thing the young one said is why is my butt out you know he, <laughs> he said, why am i naked um, they're so, in their birthday suits yeah really really cool <laughs> stuff and then to add on top of that, my girlfriend purchased a painting that you had done of the couple with the tree for yeah. me, which I was going to purchase for her. So, so amazing, amazing stuff. It was an amazing holiday. I actually want to let's let's have a, a conversation. Um, time traveler steps in with ninety percent mental and ten percent physical. Interesting, interesting. I'm I, I'm not even going to start to debate that, but I want to do something interesting here because. I know both of you guys pretty well. You're both local to me. Yeah. We, we hang out and stuff. But in, in the guest room, I have a guest who I met online who is a mystic, a shaman. He, he's just an amazing man I, I would love to introduce you guys to. And if we were in a real world situation, I would. So I'm just going to bring him on and introduce you to guys, my friend Brian. What's up, Brian? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Brian. I want you to meet Brian. Steve and the Sunshine. Good to meet you. I, yeah, I've been listening. Awesome. I'd love to see your soul portraits. Okay. I'm like, I'm like so intrigued. This, that'd be great. Her, her work is great. So, Brian, um, you are also another favorite guest on this show. And, and again, just what I love about this and what I'm, I'm realizing is I get to just talk to the people who I love to talk to. and I'm interested I, well, in the That's a great job, right? You can't beat it. It's amazing. It's so amazing. So I, I met Brian... Um, online, I, I started following his work. He's a photographer who does some light paintings, kind of, you know, so he was in some similar places that I was in with my projector portraits. And I just, I, I said, I want to talk to this guy. And we reached out, we started talking and Brian has created some tarot decks with his artwork ah. and Oracle decks. And, and as I got to know him, I found out that he studied under a mythic for a long time. Um, he's done some amazing things in front of my eyes on the camera, uh, you know, moving objects around and things like that. Like, I, I couldn't tell you. It's, it's amazing. Brian, how was your year? You know, it's been, uh, it's been the most trying and the most productive of my life. You know, it kind of seems like when you when you get really, really pressed and pressured, you know, it's kind of like the opportunity. You and I talk a lot. I, I love learning and, and, you know, it's always, it'll be a work in progress until you shut your eyes for good, you know. And and I love that process. And, and sometimes you go along and just, you kind of make a few steps forward, but Sometimes you, it seems like you're taking more steps back than you're going forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, this year really was one of those years where a lot of things finally came into place or, and, and the pieces of the puzzle, uh, mm -hmm. more pieces of the puzzle connected, not that the whole puzzle's connected, but mm -hmm. it, it's just been really, really great. And my, my artwork, I've been having a blast doing that stuff. Dude, I, I got to tell you, and I'm, I want to, these guys will love this. I'm going to share this with you guys because you will love this. Brian does these light paintings and his latest work is just so next level hang on let me share this i got it up over here um you're gonna show the angel uh yeah uh, this this new stuff that you've just done is out of out of this world um let's see share this uh share um i i guess uh how do i share the screen oh here we go add to the stream <laughs> there we go so i'm just gonna uh try to get this big on the screen here as big as i can um Hold on a second. Bear with me. I've got like 500 windows open, and this is not super easy. Uh, 
how can I get this big on the screen? Shoot. Uh, here we go. Let's just do it this way. Wow. So, so this is done uh, with light painting. Um, you know, Brian's kind of using lights, and and I don't know if you want to describe what you're doing. Well, uh, oh, he's gonna. He's the, gonna the, <laughs> the particular uh, the particular tool for that is a uh, is a fiber optics brush, a black fiber optics brush, and I'm actually drawing those things in the air in the in the dark. It's it's kind of amazing. I've always been a painter and um, you know a, a graphic designer, and I I, I love uh, creating watercolors and that kind of thing. And mm -hmm. the wonderful thing about the light painting is that you're you're actually using light energy itself to make the images, and it has just been so satisfying. Curiously enough, this one began on the. Uh, uh, the solstice, the most recent yeah. solstice, wow. and and uh, I don't know what it is about that particular energy of that day, but I like get so inspired. I created the tarot deck. It started on the solstice, ended on the equinox. The angel deck started on the solstice, and wow, on the really? equinox, and and, and like every happened. every year, it just. Yeah, I didn't plan for that. I didn't go. Hey, it's a, it's a solstice. Right. Let's start. I mean, look, look at this image, Brian. This is this is just out of this world. I mean, this is really. I, I I don't even know. I, I I'm reacting <laughs> live here, but it's like I feel like it's talking to me. It's channeled. I mean, it's it's just so so crazy, dude. You know, I've been practicing for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, you mm -hmm. anything that you start off to do, you know, you're in the technique phase for a mm -hmm. long time until you get your technique down to a point where you're not having to think about the technique anymore and mm -hmm. what's in your mind is flowing out. Right. And I feel like I just reached that spot maybe yeah. like this year, actually. Yeah, dude, that, I, when I saw this work, I, I, I definitely felt, I mean, you know how I always react to your work, you know, I, I always love it. But this was just something different. You know, this was just really amazing. Well, the, um, the solstice wave, I've been riding, I've been out every night, you know, luckily this time of year, it gets dark at five or six, you know, right. so you can start mm -hmm. the summer. You have to wait until it's 10 o'clock. You know you what? And going. that's, and that's a great, a great statement on perspective because that starts to bum me out when it gets dark early, but here oh, we go. I love it. You my, my, and my, my, my day's just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. That's great, yeah. man. That's great. Awesome. Well, I, I cannot tell the three of you how happy I am to just be sitting here and, and talking to you all and just having had you all a part of my life and being able to see what you all do and what you all bring into this world because it's just it, – I'm just so grateful to be a part of it. And holy moly, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> well, we're <laughs> grateful that you're a part of our lives too. Yeah, that it's been a really wonderful connection, just yeah. sort of out of the blue, and a perfect example of the vibe you're putting out. You attract, you know, and and I was really, I don't know, I was I I had a lot going on right then. I was thinking, man, I'd really love to connect. And the light painting community has been a marvelous community. The people in it are just. Mm -hmm so giving and sharing and like everybody supports everybody's work it's mm -hmm. just been mm -hmm. really great I, and I think, uh, that you you came out of that whole scenario yeah and you know what i think you 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 hit the the key word there and and i've been hearing it a lot and it just makes sense and that's community you know what that is that is the future i've been hearing it in the in the sense of nfts and cryptocurrency i've been hearing it in the sense of the art world that I know, like all of the Facebook art groups that I'm on, as we were just talking about this, this platform, I, there's an artist, his name is Bo Bramwell or uh, oh, Bo, I, Bo I joined that. You yeah. sent me that group. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 the guy's and good. Yeah. His stuff is amazing. And it's all very, very meticulously hand drawn um, artwork. And I started following it because of the artwork. And then he opened up a little bit and he told his story. He had, recovered from addiction and and his life was just about to crash and he found 
it looks like he found psychedelics, but he found <laughs> he found the creativity. He found a resource that was pure, that was channeled, that was just coming through him and allowing him to connect with other people so much to the point that he now has an agent. He's producing artwork and prints that he's just that are selling out the minute he does them. And I reached out and I said, hey, you want to be on our show? And he was like, absolutely. Let's do it. So cool. he's my he's my guest next week. I am so freaking excited to have awesome. that energy that somebody I never met that I know I'm going to connect with a billion percent. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and everything is going to be great. And it, it, it's just amazing. Yeah. So uh, Angela says art is an avenue, amazing avenue to healing. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Creativity is, man, I think everybody, everybody on the screen right now and even watching can attest to yeah. the power of creativity and how it connects you mm-hmm. directly to source, you know, mm-hmm. um, and to other people because other people are viewing your creativity as a window into that source. That's yeah. exactly right. You know, um, which I'm going to use that as my little segue. I'm not getting rid of any of you because I want to, keep <laughs> you all, I want to keep you all here. But uh, I was talking to Steve a little bit about this guy. Let me see if I can find my window. So I get the names all right. I just stumbled across this podcast and I've been really watching a lot of podcasts because this platform and communicating with people and having conversations is is creativity to me it is love it is that connection um so i've been watching the whole art of it and watching how people are doing their podcasts and what their voices sound like and all of those things you know <laughs> uh, and uh and i came across this guy aubrey marcus i don't know if anybody knows him out there but he was just i love the way he talked and he brought this guy on matthias de stefano matthias de stefano Uh, who is this young 20-something kid uh, who lives in nine dimensions. He basically remembers all of his past lives vividly. And I just watched him start talking about how, you know, he Aubrey said, how did you come across this? And he said, well, basically I grew up in a household with, with no religion. So everything was kind of accepted. And when, when I was put in the spot of like, entertaining or myself or other people i started telling stories and the stories were memories Mm. of lives he's like i was i wasn't making stuff up i was just talking about stuff that happened and and that's how he starts talking about his realization of all of the different lives that he's had and why he's here on this earth right now and and oh my god it was just so fascinating um I was going to share it. I'm going to just, I'm going to just share it so you guys can see who it is. I'm not going to play it because it, it does kind of long, but let me just share this window with you guys. Um, but have Did any you guys heard of it? it? I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, I could post the link. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I could do that right here. In Mike, the- I'm curious. Yeah. Go ahead, Steve. It. Yeah. If I could add a little bit to this, um, this kid, uh, Mateus Stefano, young man, rather. Um, is, is quite, quite extraordinary and has a series on Gaia also, ah. which is um, called Initiation. So Gaia brought him in and he has a whole series of visual oh, uh, descriptions. It's really, um, he's he's quite, quite, quite extraordinary and describes his, um, let's just say, multidimensional aspects of why he came here to Earth to assist in our ascension process and how things have been rolling out uh, over uh, literally hundreds of thousands of years. And it's mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's really fascinating. There you go. This is it. Yeah. You know, I, I've been I've been really resisting getting a subscription to Gaia just because it's part of that whole capitalistic. Ooh. Web. But uh, you get know, it. I, I gotta get it. It's yeah, right. I got it. I got it. it. I think. Yeah. Oh, look, free for the first week. I just popped ago. up. I got it <laughs> yeah. a year over a year ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's I, just you know, a tremendous amount of content on. Yeah. Things. Everybody's on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Oh, so we have uh, time traveler. Love is a magnetic energy field that brings things together. Yes. This, is, this, is, this is basic live stream of consciousness knowledge, time traveler. But thank yeah. you. <laughs> no, I, I, love, I love what you're bringing to the conversation. So, so, so don't stop. I'm just, I'm just teasing the time traveler there. 
I love that we're being visited by a time traveler. That is amazing. <laughs> what year is he from? I don't know. Should we get the time traveler? You want to come on the show? I'll send you a link. You can come on. That would be great. Uh, <laughs> so or she, you know, we don't know. I, say that again. I said he or she. We don't know. He or she. Just going to say yeah. time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> whoever whoever they are, they are totally welcome here. So I did want to also, I, I know we've got a couple of regular viewers who uh, are always out there. I did want to extend the invitation. If anybody wants to come on screen and, you know, wish us a happy new year or send happy new year wishes or discuss anything, let me know in the chat. I'll send you a little link and you can come on. You just have to make sure you turn off the, the podcast before you sign on. Uh, or else we'll get into that old school radio thing. Where we're like, turn off your radio. <laughs> so anyway, I had a uh, a great conversation today with, uh, and this is a total tangent. So bear with me, guys. Uh, Jackie Martling. Um, I've been working on uh, a show with him uh, at Titan Studios where I work, and we're just you know getting ready to release the podcast. And it was so cool just talking to somebody who has. What I like about talking to Jackie is the breadth of his life experience. Um, you know, he, he's a local Long Islander who started, you know, playing in bands in the 70s, Steve. Like he was like a long hair hippie, you know, playing in bands at the, you know, the Right Track Inn or these even older places than that, you know. And, uh, and he went on to be a comedian on the comedy strip and has all of these comedians in his, uh, you know, in his family and, uh, and then he went on to become a writer for Howard Stern and just such an amazing story and what a humble, cool dude, you know, to be working with. So I got to say, I'm excited about that. That's something good for 2022 that's coming out. I think we just decided today uh, that Groundhog Day is going to be the release. So <laughs> look for some uh, social media coming on that. And uh, Time Traveler is is uh, giving us the thanks. Thank you, Time Traveler. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? I'm going to, I don't know. Uh, I can't reach Time Traveler. Where are you, Time Traveler? You're on YouTube. Can I reach you? I can't give you the message privately unless I know who you are. And I don't want to just blast it out. Everyone will just jump on. Well, actually, probably nobody will. Let's do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Time Traveler, if you're out there, um, I'm putting a message out to you on the YouTube because that's where you are. And I just gave Time Traveler the uh, the URL, hopefully, to join us. So anyway, my friends, here we are. I don't have a drink in my hand. I have some water. But uh, I want to wish you guys all the greatest of the year. You know? <laughs> um, and, and I hope to actually physically be in the same place with each and every one of you at least four or five times over the next year. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. You know, one thing that just occurred to me, Mike, is uh, the four of us, as, as I'm looking at the screen here, and for those people who are, are watching and listening to us, um, the four of us represent um, uh, part of our sole uh, purpose is um, creativity in music and art. And, uh, you know, Brian and, and Sunshine, you know, the artwork that you guys put out is just really amazing. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. And it's an, it's an expression, a human expression. We can use without, we don't need words or comparisons and things like that. It's a way of expressing and, and sending out that energy. And uh, for those of who don't know, Mike and I met years ago um, in the music field. Um, I happened to be a, a sub sax player hired by uh, Jeff to uh, play a gig at a, I think at a biker event in Brooklyn somewhere. <laughs> it, was, it was actually a Hell's a Hell's Angels uh, at, the Hell's, <laughs> at the Hell's Angels uh, headquarters in Hempstead. Yep. Yeah. So I pulled up, you know, in my little uh, v minivan. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I break out my sax and I'm playing along and, and Mike was the bass player. And we got to, we met there for the very first time. And in our, um, I guess our first break, we had started just talking about, and something clicked and we started talking about, but spirituality and whatever. And, and it's been nonstop since then. Mike, that's probably over 10 years ago, I think. That's great. And you know what, as you're telling the story, I can 
picture the little mm -hmm. cafeteria tables where we were sitting. And mm -hmm. I remember I had just published the the 2012 uh, Women of Armageddon calendar. <laughs> and, and I was showing you, I was so excited. I was showing yeah. you. And yeah, I mean, we just, we definitely click like old buddies. And, yeah. you know, it's just, it's. it's and it led us on to a path of uh, utilizing music um, as yeah. a way of um, healing. So between Absolutely. the between art and creativity and music and and now the the awareness and, and spoken word and mindfulness and um, all the wonderful things that we're transitioning to in our ascension process, it seems um, apropos that here we are, not by coincidence, all together here sharing this moment, bringing in the new year together, and it mm -hmm. feels good. Yeah. Thank you, man. It does feel good. It really, it does. Uh, I, I wish I had I come prepared with more like questions for each one of you or like something that like could stimulate well, I the wanna conversation. Say, Go ahead. Yes. I okay. want to say congratulations to you, Steve, for, for uh, bringing it to the children. Mm. Thank you. you. Know? Yeah. Yeah. That, I love that. Phenomenal. Mike and I were talking about it a little bit earlier about uh, bringing mindfulness to elementary school kids. And uh, Brian, we're, um, it's hopefully just the beginning, but I had an opportunity to uh, work with 300 sixth graders, sixth graders. Uh, and it turned out to be a, an, an amazing experience. And um, most all of them really resonated with it. And it just um, giving them uh, opportunities to find that, safe space their their inner self yeah uh, that, that calm you know because these kids are really challenged they they have to wear masks uh most of them didn't even get to go to school last year they were being right. homeschooled and there's a lot of confusion they missed out on a whole year of social development you know there's so much connection with what you're saying and what i was watching earlier with matthias mm -hmm. uh in that he was he was trying he was he was asked to describe what is what is one's higher self mm. and he said to imagine the sun and and the rays of light coming off of the sun each one of those rays of light is a light from the sun but it's its own individual perspective of that light mm. yeah so that's what he was kind of saying our higher selves was each each of our higher selves is unique and and what he said further than that which relates to what you're saying is that nobody has the complete knowledge of what is the universe because everybody together has that knowledge mm. you, you, you know you have your knowledge of what the universe is to you and well, you're, you're your own universe. Exactly. You'll never know. You'll <laughs> every never know. thought you've ever had, everyone you've ever talked to, everything you've ever thought that no one else will ever touch is inside you yeah. in a complete, infinite universe. Mm -hmm. And if you think about that in terms of how many universes there are, that's cool. good. You know what? You just you just popped you just popped something for me right there, Brian. And that was infinity inward. That's exactly right. Nobody ever thinks about that. Everybody thinks of infinity as a as a huge expanse, but infinity inward, that's wow. As above, so below. I love it. I love what you just said. That's amazing. Folks, we just had we just had you heard it live from Brian Law. <laughs> <laughs> it just came out channeled. <laughs> it was channeled directly to all of us right there. <laughs> I love it. These kind of conversations are my favorite part of life these are the only conversations that i enjoy myself <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> right right i think and, and i i almost don't want to say this but i i'm i'm imagining that we all have vr headsets and that we're actually sitting around a campfire <laughs> eventually but but yeah. anyway i would much rather sit around a campfire <laughs> yeah, I yeah I, i'm steering clear of vr bro <laughs> <laughs> i just um had a, uh, an experience with my 11 year old granddaughter and my daughter told me that she went up to her and said this my 11 year old goes you know mom none of this is real i'm the only one that's real that took and me forever to get my jaw just <laughs> dropped, draws, her jaw drops like this kid is understanding what life is about she's the observer of what's happening yeah. 
all these amazing, amazing, amazing. And, totally. Yeah, really. Yeah. It's, it's, um, so yeah. Angela, Angela is saying we should all invest in a healing camp just to all go chill together. That is a good point, and I want to bring this up. There's a few things here happening. Sunshine, mm -hmm. I see, is raising her hand. Hold on, let me see how do we do this. I got to point this way, <laughs> that way. So, <laughs> so Sunshine is in Lake Grove and often facilitates different kinds of healing events uh, at her sanctuary, which is her home and her sanctuary where she invites others in. Um, light healing, sound healing, all sorts of healing. You name it. It's like healing central over there. <laughs> which, which is you amazing. name it, I'll heal it. Which is amazing. And then I know Steve, I know Steve also facilitates uh, healing yeah. sessions. And Steve, tell us what's going on at the end of the year next year. Well, um, I partnered up with a couple of dear friends of mine uh, in creating, um, let's just say a consortium of, of which we w are going to invite everyone. It's called Tribe Oneness. Mm. Uh, and we are going to Hawaii on a spiritual retreat in October. Yeah. Mm, one and of my favorite places on earth. The, uh, the energetic vibe in Hawaii is really, really uh, amazing. And uh, last year I was fortunate enough to go to Mount Shasta. And uh, we're going to piggyback it with a, a group. So um, anybody interested in going on a spiritual uh, tour <coughs> trip? Um, it's a seven-plus-day event, October 2020. You can reach out to us on. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll put information on the it, live stream as, as you, you develop it. What are you doing at Mount Shasta, if I might ask? Well, we, we went last year for the Alliance Gate 8-8 okay. with uh, another spiritual teacher, Aurora Luna, who's uh, absolutely fantastic. And, um, it, it's really interesting. Um, I took a picture of a cloud on my phone. Uh, there was the J cloud and, and Jennifer Romano was one of the people that I went on the trip with. And I said, look, Jen, there's a J cloud. And I took a picture from a distance of Mount Shasta and I, and I posted it. And one of the people that uh, went on the trip noticed and inboxed me and said, Steve, do you know, do you see what you captured? And when you, when you zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, it looks like we captured a, um, a capsule, a UFO. Uh, and Mount Shasta uh -huh. is known um, quite quite extensively over the last several decades of having a lot of UFO activity over there, and so it was quite kind of exciting to uh, to have been in that. But that whole Lemurian connection between Mount Shasta and and Hawaii and um, well, you said I've, you, spent, I mean, I've spent a good bit of time at Mount Shasta. It's yeah, oh, you, very, you, uh, very intense talk about, place. Talk about, yeah, talk about the, the, the physical. I mean, you were talking a lot about how it felt physically, the things oh. you were sensing and feeling. Well, Brian, you've been there much longer than I. I can tell you in my short period of time, I actually felt uh, and focused when I was on the mountain of the, uh, literally a, a buzz, a hum uh, that was detectable and not um, – not something that I was wishing for. It was, it was the definitive sense of a uh, vibration there. And did you feel the same while you were there, Brian? Oh, uh, there, I, I went there specifically for that actually. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a place uh, known as kind of an energy vortex yeah. uh, sort of area. And there, there are lots of phenomena that take place there. I did some, uh, some things with the Archangel Michael and got some mm -hmm. amazing photographs and, Woo! and it was a place that I, I, I have, I took about, this is uh, about 20 years ago. I took a, uh, a six month trip and just left from Miami and drove to all the spiritual places I wanted to go investigate and, and see what kind of energies I could connect to there. I had just kind of come to the realization that there are lots of realities existing all at one time. We're, we're experiencing this one because We've tuned our awareness to this particular frequency, but if you change the radio dial, you can see all kinds of stuff. And and those explorations are just the joy of my life. And wow. that Mount Shasta is a, a, a very, very intense place. There's also a place on the coast of Oregon about midway up called uh, Devil's Elbow that mm -hmm. I think is my favorite place 
I've ever been ever. Wow. You know, I'm really lucky. I, I first started my career uh, when I was young in advertising agencies and did that for about 18, 19 years. And I did too. I, so, so, you know, I'm sitting at the, I'm a, I was an art director, so I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to go to Egypt wow, the pyramids need to be in the storyboard. <laughs> so I got to go on the most amazing trips. And, and you know, what was great about doing that with work was getting to go there and meet people, meet the locals that like knew of the spots. Like, yeah. And uh, man, I got, I got more goodies that way. It was, it was uh, really great. I'd like to uh, share some of them uh, or have you share with us. Uh, please, uh, Mike, get me uh, Brian's info. A little yeah, bit. yeah, absolutely. That's, what, yeah, I, that's I want... what I'm saying. I wanted to introduce everybody because, man, I am I am so fortunate of the people that have come across my path and, and the, the energy exchanges that I've been able to experience and the relationships that I've been able to achieve and experience. And, and not only that, I think before, even before I, I was aware of it, I knew that I was a, I, w I connected people to each other. Yeah. I, I guess I just never realized how much I was a part of it. And and now I feel like I'm a part of it too. So it's great. I, I love it. Yeah. Every, everybody here, we should all be hanging out in one place. We are. <laughs> you, right. you know what, Brian, you're absolutely right. And, and I, on the astral, there is no space. That's right. And I always talk about the only real moment is now. So here we are. <laughs> Exactly. In this moment, actually, all together, it's wonderful. So, what was your best time? Of, what was your best thing of the year? Um, you know what this this uh, experience of this podcast, and I think who it's who it's brought out of me. Um, you know, uh, just being able to. I, I always was decent with communicating and thinking about my words and being able to talk calmly to people. I'm never, I'm not a confrontational person. I'm not a jerk, you know, I think. And, and the people that you are like, Oh, that person's a jerk. That person has a hard time communicating. Right. I mean, it's, it's just a matter of how you're looking at it. Right. I can, I can be mad at that person for being a jerk. or I could feel bad that, Oh man, I wish they could communicate better. They would, they would be more like me, <laughs> you know? Um, so I, I think, just awakening that ability in myself and you know i did i did a show with sunshine a couple of weeks back i mean she's she's such an amazing energy and she's this painter and and i just had this vision of this she was her own kind of bob ross entity you know like <laughs> not, not bob ross but like you know, like just the way <laughs> i'm picturing you with an laughing. afro no, no, it, it was not. <laughs> it was more about the way that Bob Ross connected with people. Yeah, that I saw in Sunshine. You know, I, I said Sunshine can definitely reach people that way. And just who, who the fuck isn't happy watching Bob Ross? <laughs> Bob Ross makes everybody happy, right? So, so that's what I felt with Sunshine. And um, there's a few people Courtney has talked to me about an idea she has for a show. I have oh, a few nice. ideas for my own shows. All of you guys are going to be guests on my show. Um, you know, we've talked about creating space. We've talked about where are you at. We've talked about all of these amazing ideas I have. I am. That's what I'm grateful for this year. The best thing was kind of finding a direction. And, and I think I'm realizing right now in the very end of the year that, I'm supposed to connect people. This is this is my mission, connecting people. So if this is going to be the platform, here we are, already here. It's already happening. <laughs> we need trumpet music. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> yeah, Steve exactly. Music. Break it up, Steve. <laughs> so so. Thank you guys so much. I have so, so much love for all of you and, and Courtney and Angela and Taylor and, and time traveler. Carrie ah. Ann. I, I see Carrie Ann's out there. I'm I so intrigued now. I got to, I got to, I got to yeah. see time traveler. Now. Yeah. I'm done. So I do have a question though, and this is not for any of you guys. This is for the, the, the viewing audience. I do see these kinds of comments every once in a while happening. And I'm wondering if this is some sort of cryptocurrency thing. Because it's like very cryptic, cryptic, 
and and it just it pops up and it's like some I don't know who Joel is. Joel, can you explain this in any way, shape, or form to me? I, I see these comments happening on other people's podcasts where it's just like three letters and then three other letters that aren't even words. Anyway, I don't mean to confuse you guys are all looking like really confused right now. Like, where did this podcast? I go? have no idea what that yeah, means. But, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I wanted to put up my um insta. Oh, I could totally let's do that. Let's totally do that. Hold on. Uh, Me and Steve put it in the oh, private chat. <laughs> you guys, look at you. I didn't I just noticed that. I'm sorry. All right. So I just did I just happened to do Steve's first. So no, Yeah, no, yeah, whatever. No thing. But if you're interested in talking further to Steve, who again is such an amazing meditation guide and sound healer and personal coach i mean if you're just not feeling good and you need to talk to somebody i would say you could talk to anybody on this screen right now but steve specifically that's how you can reach him solutions by steve uh let's do you have a website do you have a website steve yeah it's called uh just be within dot com <laughs> that's so funny be within dot com mm -hmm. let's see just be i want to get these right with no typos just bear I, I just, I, that's the name of my next oracle deck what's that just be, just be. <laughs> and it's and it's just letter the letter b drawn in different moods for every Ooh, single day nice. nice nice i love it so let's get the uh, sunshine's that's funny that's kind of crazy actually yeah there you go, right <laughs> no coincidences brian we already know that a couple maybe not <laughs> <laughs> all right so here we go banners oh no i showed that one already hold on i got four people on my show and i'm managing so bear with me <laughs> you're amazing michael <laughs> yeah sunshine so all right so that's your instagram sunshine no, that's my website. Oh, that's the website. Okay, hold on. Let me fix that for everybody. So we got <laughs> www.com. Here we go. You, you helped me design it. So. I know. That's right. But I, thought, <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was also your Instagram. Do you have an Instagram? Yeah. You do. What's your Instagram? Sunshine Warrior LLC. Sunshine Warrior. LLC. All right. Pop that up, Brian. I know you've got a, a website too. I'm going to pop that up. And this is for all of my cool viewers to get in touch with all my cool guests. Yeah. Uh, um, and that is Sunshine on um, Instagram. And let me see your. Oh, see, I knew I could just type it into a browser and it would come up. So there we go. This is for if you want to get in touch with Brian. Uh, and see some. I'm going to actually bring his uh, website up as well. Um, that's where you can see Ryan's uh, tarot decks and uh, some of his artwork. Uh, I know I've shared it on the show before, but it's always worth it. Uh, ba -ba -ba Boom. And so we've got the. Oracle deck. Oh, and look, we've got more stuff on his website, his energy classes, his blog, his music, his art. How beautiful. Actually, I remember uh, I remember when I first met you and going through your website and seeing your old um, yeah. artwork from, uh, from when you were in an agency, uh, some of your old videos and stuff, some really, really cool stuff, those toys, the videos for the toys that you made. Yeah, yeah. Those, those were really cool. Those were really Brian, cool. just out of curiosity, what, what advertising agencies did you work with? Um, I uh, worked in Babbitt and Ryman in Atlanta in the 80s. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to uh, Earl Palmer Brown, which has long since been uh, bought and was a uh, creative director there for a number of years. And then uh, moved down to Florida back in the early 90s uh, that uh, uh, Harris Street Cohen and there they thought been bought by Zimmerman <laughs> everybody's been bought they've probably been yeah. bought by now when you yeah. were, just out of curiosity when you were with Earl Palmer Brown was that in New York um that was out of the Bethesda office and oh. I was creative director for Atlanta and um and uh Nashville very nice yeah wow yeah 
advertising was a crazy career. I look back yeah. on it now and go, man, I spent a majority of my life like convincing people to spend money they don't really have on shit they don't really need. <laughs> <laughs> I need a balance. I need to do something else. <laughs> bring light to the people. Bring light oh, to the people. Oh, exactly. Man. <laughs> Cause and effect, bro. I, thanks. <laughs> awesome. I'd like to talk to you, Brian, about tarot cards for myself. Put Do you my read? art on there to Do put my read? art. Oh, oh, uh, she's interested in putting her art on some tarot decks. Yeah, you know yeah. what, Sunshine? We could all get in that conversation together because yeah, sure. yeah. you know, I've been thinking that's a large that. undertaking, I have it, to tell you. When you, when you <laughs> yeah, uh, Sunshine. Not I, with me. I'll just ask Spirit to do yeah. it. <laughs> when you see how Brian has approached it and, and, and what he's put into it, it's it's really phenomenal. It actually I was like, Oh, this is this will take a little bit. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh but Brian, you 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 had been reading tarot for years. You're very well versed in all of the meanings of the tarot and all of the little religious symbols and how I, I've been a, I've been a fanatic for divination systems across the board like right. since my my late teens and I, I I was really good at runes I got into geomancy I got into uh, the African ifa dues and numerology and right. all and then creating my own systems because a divination system is just you and your higher self learning a system of symbols Symbols, you yeah, know, it's all based on so that, you can right? you can really use anything, you know. And I was going to say, mine will probably just be a, an original <laughs> sunshine card deck or something. Oh, we got we got time traveler about to travel out. Y'all have a good night. I'm about to time travel to search for knowledge. See you next time. <laughs> Safe passage. Safe, Safe passage. You. Thank you for joining us. Angela is is popping in here. She does toy and doll photography. Angela, uh, I don't have anything. You know, I saw some up. stuff oh, yeah. the last time. Yeah, that's amazing, yeah, that amazing fun. work. Yeah, she did an, a cool thing with some dolls watching the live stream of consciousness. Yeah, so I love that. Yeah. Really, really very cool. Um uh, I like my creepy Taylor, baby. <laughs> Taylor says uh, she thinks those are bot accounts. Thank you, Taylor. That would make sense. Absolutely. Um, Brian, you mentioned Creepy Baby, which is a graphic novel that you created uh, with it a light painting, which is really awesome. If you have it, bring it, put it up on the screen. That would be cool. Oh, creepy baby. <laughs> so I did all these. I did. I did all these. Uh, these toys for this company called Flash Toys. They do a bunch of novelty stuff, and I. I was cleaning out my prop bin, and I had this whole thing: screaming chickens, you name it, like pig, little pigs, and and uh, I was going to throw them all away, and they'd gotten kind of dirty and grunty, and I. I like did a light painting with one of them with it in this old rusty tricycle. And it was like, wow, the epiphany happened. And, and they, I started on New Year's of last year. And uh, I've got first, the first four volumes are completed. And I sort of got uh, directed into making the tarot thing happen. I, I got an opportunity to get those printed in like my absolute quintessential way so i really really wanted to jump on that uh scenario but yeah i love the creepy baby Woo! he'll be making he'll be, he'll be he'll be cranking up uh new year's uh new year's day so oh, awesome. it's really fun i just got one of angela's photos hold on let me see awesome yeah i love those they're so cool <laughs> angela <laughs> yeah so also i believe that angela is now she she stylizes all of these so she creates all of these little props and i believe i mean all what i love about the creative community is how it just it grows you know and so well, she's now creating these little props for other people and selling them to other people to do this kind of stuff you could sell you could you could box those into a like a an actual thing diorama. that you could yeah direct those mm -hmm. people bought love those so cool yeah yeah so cool i don't know if anybody saw this week for my girlfriend i got the shadow box with the, the i um, saw the damsel that. fly it was really nice uh, uh, i wish i had a picture of that but us. yeah that's a great artist who does uh bug taxidermy <laughs> um he takes actual you know um dead bugs and that have been uh ethically farmed they've lived their <laughs> lives out and it, it, he he made sure that he got these <laughs> ethically farmed bugs and, and he's able to 
articulate them into the the way he wants and he puts them on these shadow boxes and it's just beautiful such organic natural art you know really, really i love how art. he did it on a heart too that was well cool. that was the commission that was the commission because janice always she loves hearts and she loves the dragonflies I, so love that. I gave him a couple of elements and he he did his thing and it, it yeah it, it was exactly what i had pictured yeah it, it, it was, was really beautiful, beautiful. yeah uh, I wish I had a picture of it. Uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're getting ready to the, go to the end of the show. Give me a second. I'll bring it right up. Instagram. Um, I don't know if you guys, why don't you guys uh, give us your well wishes while I'm searching this out? Well, I, I wanted to ask Steve where you worked, actually. I was stationed in New York, uh, and I worked in the advertising arm of the a company called Cable Vision. So we represented the New York market in, in gotcha. cable. So my job was to go to the advertising agencies and get them to spend their money on our... <laughs> yeah. So um, I worked with a handful of agencies and um, for a number of years too. And it was it was a lot of fun. It was uh, very hectic and um, very interesting. But I always loved the creative side. And to this day, I, I just have this respect for the team who handles the geico commercials yeah I, that's, hands, a, that's a martin agency hands down yeah. like the best they've had that account forever they're yes. out of richmond yeah it's like i imagine them sitting around at a table either drinking wine or smoking a couple of joints and coming up with all these great ideas and just yeah. funny, funny. Uh, so there's the uh there's the shadow box oh uh, Really, 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 some some cool artwork. You can't really see the the corners have this nice like little brass things on the corners there. We but, can you know. see it. Oh, you can. Okay. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. I don't know. Some people Very are watching nice. on their phone or something. But really, really good stuff. Really, really happy about that. Uh, I have Angela wishing everybody happy New Year. Um, hey, Angela. Happy and, New Year, everybody. Yeah, I just yeah. Yeah. Maybe be magical. I can't mm -hmm. wait to see everybody in the next year. Uh, like I said, I've got Bo coming on, the great artist. I, yeah, uh, I'm excited. I can't ever that. stop expressing how much I love you guys. So I, I don't know how do I how do I end that? I'm just like I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, folks. Yeah, there we go. Big heart for everybody for the for the new year. And uh, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show. If you want to stick around after the uh, thing, I'll I'll say goodbye to you. Uh, let me run the the outro video, and let me just say to everybody, have a good year. Peace. <laughs>